friends, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel today. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Today, I have a haul video for you. Um, I was kind of waiting because I was thinking, oh, I'll just wait until I get this next thing or this next thing. And yes, I still have some things that are going to come on Friday. Today is Wednesday, but if I just keep waiting for the next thing, next thing, I always get this stockpile of stuff and <laughs> I'll never get to the haul. So yeah, yeah. Um, uh, things have changed recently and so uh, I haven't been able to purchase like I did in the past. And so it's been like, I'll get one book here or one book there or whatever it's it's very I've cut down it's not like I go on Amazon and purchase 10 books um, I've really cut down on my spending so I kind of put everything together and let it kind of pile a little bit and then I figured then we can do the haul video <laughs> so it's been a minute um, I also have two products that I was I was sent for review um, a while ago I just haven't been able to get to doing my videos and I thought well this is a product type of video and I'm sharing with you the things that I have so might as well show them you know um, and I can put the links for everything down in the description box below and kind of get her all done in this video, so to speak. Um, it is overcast at my house today, so I've had to turn on my overhead light. If there is any kind of shine, I will do my best to try not to make it shiny on you, because I know the glossy covers of books tend to do that. But yeah, um, we'll kind of get started. Now, I did want to give you guys an update. Um, some new things to the channel. Um, I have recently become an Amazon affiliate uh, and so I will start putting Amazon affiliate links down in my description box below for the items that are featured on the video and that way it will make it easier for you guys to locate those items and um, I do have to let you know if you do use my link, I get a tiny little kickback on that, but it's no cost to you. And um, that way uh, it can help me for future purchases and things like that, that can help whatever I need help with at the time um, because the economy has gotten so expensive, I'm struggling. And so I decided to become an Amazon affiliate and also I have recently monetized my channel and as you guys know for those that have followed me or subscribed to me for quite some time um, I didn't want to monetize but um, recently I decided that it would be best to do it uh, just because of that economy thing like I said and um, I put a lot of work into my videos and editing and things like that and um, I thought I would give it a shot and see how it goes so yeah um, so there are ads here and things like that and it's because I've monetized and there's a little super thanks thing in like the bar if you want to do the super thanks thing never required and yeah just trying to um, make some small changes so that um, I can continue doing videos for you and continue doing this hobby. So we'll just get started. So I, as you guys know, I have a coloring journal and um, I usually put lots of stickers in it. I decided to pick up some more stickers uh, from Amazon I have two sets here. Let me see if I'm in frame, and of course I'm not. <laughs> uh, so I have two here. 
and it's the same link, but they give you like several different options. I got this one and this one, and in this one with the pink cover, I tried to clean it up. They separate it in color family. Um, so we have yellows, purples, and I put the red and the pink in the same section because when I opened it, it was all mixed up, but I, I cleaned it up. And then these are the blues. They don't have a green section in this particular sticker pack. Um, I like these stickers because I'm very much into kawaii. And let me just show you what they kind of look like. Um, each one has like its own thing. So you've got a girl and you've got some things to go with that girl. And sometimes it's a boy. But they have several different types. And it's kind of fun to do color scheme ones. And these are the ones that are like the clear type of sticker. So um, let me give you an example in my journal of what I've done in the past it's just like see right here this is clear these are clear stickers so you can see what's underneath them um, again you can still see the line go through and um, that actually makes it so that if there's anything underneath it I can still read it Again, they're really cute and really fun to use. So I got these ones that are the colors. That way if I want to do like a color theme during the month I could or whatnot, I usually just pick whatever I want to use. <laughs> and then I got this one that's not color themed, but um, I thought these ones were super adorable. Let's get a piece of paper so you guys can see. Look at that cute winter one. Um, as you guys know, I love chibi and kawaii. And basically that's what these stickers are, are chibi and kawaii. So, yeah. They have different, different themes, different things. You know, you're going to have Christmas ones. You're going to have um, fall, uh, winter, spring, summer, video games. You know, all sorts of different things. So I really enjoy these stickers. I think they're fun. Now the box is kind of misleading. It makes you think that there's quite a few in here. It's not as much as you think, but still I think they're really fun. So if you're looking for some fun kawaii type stickers, um, I will put the link for these. Now they do have stickers that come like this as well that are a little more I don't want to say grown up -y, but more like vintage flowers and delicate looking and um, they even have anime ones and they have uh, ones that are like um, not just botanical but like Atlas and World Atlas and things like that. So they make different types. So those are those stickers. I'm going to pull my scrap piece of paper here. Um, I was sent these markers for review. Oh, right there. We'll turn it this way. And these are acrylic markers. Um, I think they're under Light Wish. But it says Zongkai or something like that right here. I'll put these in the description box below. But I... I think it's really cool that they come in this case. Let me see if it says right here. It says Light Wish 48 uh, acrylic markers. So they're dual tip acrylic markers. And I like, like I said, I like the case. Now it looks like they're two different colors. Um, so that's probably why they get the 48 out of this because there's two different colors on one thing. One side has a brush. Let's look at the other side. Oh, so they're both brush tip. So there's no pumping required and they're acrylic markers. We're going to just kind of go 
on my piece of paper here. Looks like a very smooth lay down. And I want to see how opaque these are. So I'm going to get a pen. We're going to draw ourselves a little heart. Yeah, that looks good. Nice solid black line. So we're going to see how good when we go over this, um, it covers that up. And it looks like that paint, paint dries fairly quickly. So I'm going to use this orange one and just go over with one swipe so you guys can see that you can still see the black line um, with this marker. I didn't let my black dry, but yeah. So they're not totally opaque, so it won't cover up your black line entirely, but I bet if you go over and over it with it for a little bit, it will be fine. And for, they lay down really nice with like a nice brush tip. That's very nice. I think that they would be good for those Disney Hatchet Heroes color by number books. Um, no bleed through. And if you're a swatcher, there are numbers on the tips. I don't know if they have color names because this isn't in English, but I would assume not. It just has the, the numbers. But I do think this is a really good set, and I think this would be a good travel set, honestly, um, so that you can just take it with you because it comes in this nifty little case. I'm going to try something. So this is supposed to be white. I think so I'm gonna go over this purple just to kind of give you an idea what the white does over another acrylic it's not that opaque but it definitely can lighten a color so say you're um, needing a color and it's not the colors you need and you need it to be lighter you could color it with one of these colors and then go over on top of the white and it will lighten the hue so that's good but yeah that is these acrylic acrylic double, dual end markers and like I said it's a 48 count because of the dual side and they are called light wish 48 colors acrylic marker set dual tip yeah, I have their little receipt thing. So I want to thank the company for sending these to me. Uh, it was very nice of them to think of me. And I think that they are beautiful markers. They feel good too. Sometimes when you use an acrylic marker and you feel after it, it feels um, chalky and it just doesn't feel good. These actually feel very nice. You know what? I think I might use these in my eerie Trace Around the World books. Um, I think these would work beautifully in that type of book. So I'll leave the link for these below if you're interested in these acrylic markers. We're going to flip this over, put my pen back. The next product I was sent a while ago is this, the Art Beak 40 piece um, alcohol marker. And it unzips just like your uh, oh hoo's and things like that. Um, it looks like they give you a little tiny swatch thing. This is kind of glossy, so but we can we can swatch one out on here and see how it goes. And they give you lines so you could write down the little codes on the side. Now, as you can see, I just like literally just barely open these. This must have, yeah, it has a, I don't know if you can see it, but on the bottom here, it has like a little caddy that you can insert your markers in so that they feel more 
secure and they're not like bulging out and laying down. Um, first off, uh, just looking at these markers, looks like this one, um, the words have faded off. And like I said, this is literally the first time I've opened these. And so it's not like I've been using it in my hand. And they don't come like in color order. You would have to arrange them. Now I know several people have gotten these for review and done the yellowing test over the course of three months. And they didn't yellow after three months, but I don't know how the yellowing is for long-term marker usage. Just to give you an FYI there. Um, where I'm just pulling one out here. It has a fine and a broad, so no brush tip. And this is the fine tip we're looking at. And it just feels like a regular fine tip marker, I'll be honest. And there is the chisel tip, nice chisel. That feels good. So this was on a cardstock paper. This is on that glossy paper that they've given you to swatch. And it glides and it kind of leaves a little bit of residue because it's not fully dry because of the glossy paper. Because it doesn't absorb as much as say this cardstock. So that's something to keep in mind if like you are using these for the color by color books or any of those uh, books that have that premium gloss paper, it may take a second to dry. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, let's do a test to see how the bleed out is. So I'm just going to draw our heart. And I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to pick this dark green color, uh, number 51. And I'm going to try to color inside the lines as close as the, I can to the line. Let me... I'm going to zoom up so you guys can see. I want to see if there's any kind of bleed out of the line. A lot of times when you have alcohol markers, if they're super juicy, um, they'll bleed out of the line. So, these seem to be doing pretty well. Um, underneath this, before I zoom out, I want to do a, a blend test. So, I'm just getting another green. Um, so I'm going to pull that green and this one is a different green and I'm just trying to blend these together. That lighter green felt, sometimes it takes a few layers, I don't have extra backing paper so this is what we're getting um it still has a little bit of line but there is a little bit of blendability on the marker just have to work with it they do feel um let me just zoom back out okay they do feel kind of um the plastic doesn't feel like with an ohuhu you can feel the price in the plastic this feels like a cheaper uh plastic marker they do feel similar to um those art box the magic box markers i do think that they would be just fine if for your basic coloring needs. If you need some for uh, to go or just something to do to have for like a simpler book. Um, I'm not sure if these art beaks come in a larger set, but I think 
they would be okay. Do I think their longevity is longer than an Ohuhu? I think your Ohuhu will last longer than these. But I do think they're a pretty decent, just basic marker. I'm looking at the colors here, just by eye here, and it looks like they have a lot of greens. It was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, if you count that one, it would be thirteen. That's a lot of greens. And they've got two pink, two orangey. I guess you could count that as kind of a brown, but the, they've only got really one brown. And they've got, they say this is salmon pink. It looks pretty yellow to me. Yeah, that doesn't look like salmon at all. Uh, so that color definitely doesn't match up with its name. Yeah. Um, that's just kind of what you get a little bit with um, markers. You have to swatch them out. Sometimes they are great. Sometimes they aren't as good. Uh, but just as a basic set, if you're learning with alcohol markers, I wouldn't say jump into Ohuhu's or Copics or anything like that. If you are just learning, I would definitely get a more budget-friendly set like this. And yeah, so, but it is a bummer. They like only have one red and... It just seems like a lot of greens. You could have done away, they could have done away with um, some greens. It just doesn't seem like there's very many color options. But that's just my honest review on that. Like I said, I've had these for a while. They feel a little dry, but I think it's because I've had them for a while. But they are a decent little set of markers and um, like I said, I have several fellow colorists that did reviews on these as well, and they didn't have any problems with yellowing. And um, if you're just looking for a basic little set of markers to take with you for a quick little trip or something, I think you'd be fine with these art beaks. If you like green. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Just my stuff over. Hopefully that was in frame. I got these, uh, the Jelly Roll Moonlight. Uh, these ones are new color combination. Uh, what do they call these? Earth colors. These are earth colors. Now I'm used to the Jelly Roll Moonlight that are the bright poppy colors like this pink for example and I didn't know they had these ones and these are actually the bigger point the 10 so they're nice thick smooth point and we can open these up if you'd like or if I would like <laughs> This like olive or this like olivey green color. Yeah, they feel just like a jelly roll, um, moonlight. But it, they come in these different colors. What's cool is they have a brown, like a taupe color. Look at that. I'm very happy to have these because um, a lot of times I will use these instead of like an acrylic paint pen because they're very opaque and they can go over things and if I, sometimes I go the lazy man way and color the whole page with an alcohol marker and then go in on top with all the little details with things like this so that I don't have to avoid small objects. But yes, I am excited to have these in my collection. 
I love the Moonlight Jelly Roll in general. I know they have a gray set, but I don't know if it's the 10 point. Um, make sure when you're ordering Jelly Rolls to look at the point. They have a six, like an 06, 06, 08, and a 10. Um, I prefer the 10. Um, in the Jelly Roll Glaze, I wish there was an eight, but um, yeah. I prefer the 10. Anyway, that is those, and I'll leave those, uh, the link for those in the description box if you're interested in purchasing those. Um, I did get some of these, they're little portfolios. Um, when I did my last haul and I got the Halloween Cuties book by Joshua Dunbar, when I opened it up, the pages were falling out of it. And I'm like, ah, you know. So I needed to get some kind of little portfolio. So I purchased these and they have like plastic sleeves in them. It came like a two for, came with two of them in it. Yeah, there's 24 pockets. Now that um, I had taken apart that uh, Island, or not Island Cuties, but Halloween Cuties, I'm thinking I may do something different with those pages and maybe reorder that book because they didn't come out as well as I wanted. But I think these would be perfect for a 5x7 type of coloring book. Um, I don't know about postcard wise because postcards are only like this big. Uh, yeah, this is... This is a little type of postcardy type book, and your postcards would definitely be smaller. But there are PDFs out there, like on Etsy, that are five by sevens, and you could put them in a thing like this. And I actually have some, so I think I may print them off and put them in this little guy. And so I think this is a perfect little size for coloring books that are five by sevens. Or you can get a coloring book from Etsy or whatever and scale it down to a 5x7 if you prefer pocket size as well. Moving on, this little coloring book actually came with these colored pencils. Um, I purchased this coloring pencils, was it during the Amazon Prime days? I don't remember, um, but they were really good sale and people talked really highly of them on uh, Facebook, so I thought I'd give them a try. This little freebie book thing, I don't know if I'm actually going to use it or if I'm gonna just give it to my daughter to play in, but it came with the pencils. Now, it's <laughs> this pencil set says Finding the Lost Girl oil color pencil, but I think it's an H and X. I'll put these in the description box too, the link for these. Now there's two different tins that come in the 72. And if you're curious if they are the same set of pencils or if they're two different sets, they are the same set of pencils, they're just different tins. So I'll pick whichever tin you like the best. All right. Here is the little swatch card. I went ahead and swatched these already. And these pencils are very good quality. I like them a lot. I really enjoyed swatching them and I didn't find any of them scratchy at all. So they were wonderful. And um, I do appreciate they give it a nice range for purples and um, they gave a nice range of browns as well. Not overloaded on the greens, but s still a fairly decent amount. Um, there's not a ton of blues, but it's still all right. And there are some skin tones as well. Now, one of the drawbacks to these pencils is they do not have a color number. So what I have had to do, so no, I was swatching it out. So no color number, no color name. I used my um, Sharpies and I wrote numbers on all of them while I was swatching these out. And um, they do sharpen well, but I feel like when you sharpen them, you lose a lot of pencil. 
see how this one is still high up and this one's like this. This one's been sharpened, this one has not. Uh, this one, yes, I swatched it so they're a little worn down. So I think um, after sharpening them before no time, you'll burn through this pencil. But they are really budget friendly, so I mean, you can take that as you will. Um, it comes with these little flimsy trays, so if you want like actual pencil case, I would advise getting a pencil case. But since it's a 72, you can also get a pencil roll because um, they make pencil rolls for 72 count pencils. Um, I think for me, I am starting to get a lot of cases because uh, I have a pretty wide pencil collection. I think I will combine these with the Marie's colored pencils that I got uh, from Timu that I showed in my last one of my last videos because they feel very similar and um, I think those were oil pencils as well and yeah I am very pleased with this purchase I think that these are a really decent set of pencils especially for the budget friendly price um, so if you're on the market for looking for some new pencils just to play with and you want um, don't care if they have color numbers on them or names uh, you could definitely try these out and they have such a fun uh, tin. I mean, even if you take out the pencils and put them in a case, you could use this tin to like house your distress inks or you could put in all your watercolors down with magnetic strips and you could have this be like your watercolor tray or whatever. Yeah, there's lots of things you could do with these types of tins. The last uh, product that I'm going to show you that I got are these. These are 36 water soluble crayons, silky crayons. They're colorful, I think that's what it says, is the brand. And I want to say I saw these on, was it DJ's Colorful Escape? I don't remember, but they looked really cool. So, yeah, I used her link and ordered them. Um, yeah, I thought that these kind of looked kind of cool, like remind me of my kid days. Um, and I thought that they had a really good color range. Now, I have the King's Art gel sticks. There are some colors in this box that aren't in the King's Art gel sticks. And um, so that was kind of cool. Uh, I did swatch all these out or scribbled all of these out on a piece of paper. All of them worked really well. Um, some of them, when you open them up, their little thing wasn't, uh, like their core wasn't straight in the middle. Let's see if I can find one that was off. That one is okay. I think there was a brown one that was off. Not that one. Is it this guy? This guy's a little off. But I don't think that really matters too much because uh, most likely you'll be scribbling in a scribbling it on a palette or something to use it. Now, one out of all of them, there was one that I had a problem with that I could potentially send this back to Amazon and get another set, but I don't really want to go to the place to take things back. It is this blue one right here, and it's like melted. Its consistency is not like the rest. Like, I could push on this, and it would just go like... Yeah, it's, I mean, I could still rub it on a piece of paper and get the color out, but it's not like these. These, like, feel like lipstick. This feels like they have too much oil in it or something. It's just, literally, it reminds me of, like, a chocolate chip that has been melted, but you can see the chocolate chip shape, and if you touch it, it just goes, you know, 
That is what has happened to this one. Um, do I think that all of them are going to end up like that? Or if this was just a fluke? I think that this one was just a bad one in general. I don't see that every set is going to have a bad blue one. I think that I think that you'd be okay because the person that I watched, hers were fine. So, yeah. Um, I think you'll be okay. I, I do like that you can see all the colors and they're fun. I guess I can put some on a piece of paper so you guys can see. But I don't want to drop that. going to take this oh this is a perfect example how it's not centered see how it's kind of off that's it doesn't matter to me but do you see the purple consistency and you could um, smear it with your finger like that if you wanted um, or you can use water let me show you this one that was flawed just so you know what I'm talking about See, it's it's bending. It's it just doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right to me. I I the tip used to be super melted, and the first time I put it down, it was bad. But um, the other ones are good. And if you want to know how it works with a uh, water, let me see if I have a water brush nearby. Orange, get them nice and thick. I like gel sticks and gel crayons. I think they're fun. You can use it with water too. This is not water, like the best paper for water, but see how you can spread it out with water. So definitely a more budget friendly option if you are looking into um, using like a gel crayon or a mixed media stick with water. So that is those. And they come in this awesome case, which is awesome. All right, now we're on to the books. Let me just make sure we're in frame. All right, first book I got is this one. It's been on my wish list for a long time. I know it's not a new release. It's called Adorable Girls by Rada Prince. I know she has the Cozy Spaces one too, but um, I chose to just choose one right now. Um, like I said, I've been limiting my purchases quite a bit. And um, I chose this one because I thought it was fun with all these portraits. And sometimes I don't want to color too many details. I just want to color something simple. And this is like a simple, easy page that I would thoroughly enjoy coloring. So I thought this was fun with all of these girls. Yeah. So there is that one. The next one I did do a flip through on the channel. It's Kawaii Snow Globes. This one um, I got from Colored Carmel, and this is perfect for Christmas time. It's full of snow globes and cute kawaii stuff. Like I said, I did a flip through on the channel. It's a really cute book. And we're approaching the holiday season. Very fun. Very cute. Uh, the next book I have is this one. And I believe I already shared this one on the channel. I did a flip through. Um, this is Enchanted Gnomes by Coco Wayo. 
This is their one of their newer ones, and I think this one is absolutely adorable. And I recently ordered another one of their um, books, and it's called Bubble Worlds, and so that's one that should be coming on Friday. But this one is absolutely adorable if you love gnomes. And they have so many fun, cute pages in here. But yeah, there's a full flip on the channel. So I'm not going to do too much of a flip. Next one I have here is Dream Coloring for Kids. Now, whose channel? Coloring with Maya showed this on her channel. And um, I thought... Oh, that is such a fun book. It's like if you crossbred a folk art style with like Emily Little Hall Oberg and put it all together, I just thought it was very fun. And so, yeah, I had to get it because I like folk art and I like her Emily Little Hall Oberg. And so I thought, yeah, I'll go for it. And it has really nice paper for her. Uh, kids coloring book it's double-sided but um this would be fun to take those acrylic markers to as well i mean if i really want to use my alcohol markers i'll use them and sacrifice a page i am okay with that and this is actually not that expensive of a coloring book and Coloring with Maya did a full flip through of this coloring book. And she showed a page she colored. And it was like amazing. So if anything it enabled, enabled me. Yes it's busy. But it's simple busy. <laughs> Does that make any sense? I mean you can color this stuff straight. But there's so many little details that it makes it look like you've been working on it for hours. Yeah. And they they do have some of these like kawaii looking faces. So that's cute. Next book I have is a lot of what you guys know about. <laughs> it's brand new uh, for us US girls. Uh, Pop Manga Beauties and Beasties coloring book by Camila Dierico. And I love her work. I think it's amazing. My friend Ashley just did this one. Um, yes, I think this is really fun. This book um, has a lot of pages that would work for my mythical hashtag for Enchanting Narrow Color. Like, here's a cat that's come in combination with a snake body. He has to be some kind of mythical creature. But she also has a mythical creatures book. The dragons and mythical creatures, I think. That one. The three-headed dog. There's flip-throughs out there of this book. I like that girl eating the honey. It's cute. Winnie the Pooh is one of my favorites, so... Some of the um, pages aren't like my thing, but other pages I really love. So, yeah. Beauties and Beasties coloring book. The next book I have here is uh, from the films of Harry Potter Magical Games coloring book by Scholastic. Now, I have the first one of the this as well. It's another Harry Potter book from Scholastic. I just love the illustration style of these Harry Potter images. So I picked this one up too. Um, they're double-sided. But you have the characters from the Harry Potter movies and books. There is lots of different fun things you can color. You could, um, you could just take crayons to this and color it very simple if you wanted to. 
if you really wanted to go to town, you could copy this on like cardstock and really go to town with medias. I want a good clean game from all of you. The four champions. I really enjoy Harry Potter, so of course I needed to pick that one up. It was on my wish list for a while. I just finally was able to get it. Now, um, I shared this book on my community tab when it was released. When I saw it, I couldn't wait to get it. It's absolutely adorable. This one I highly, highly recommend to anyone that likes fairy tales or the cutesy style coloring books. Um, it's called Cute Fairy Tales Princess and Fable Princesses and Fables Coloring Book by Selena Fennick. And they have doubles. I'm gonna kind of give kind of like a full flip. Um because I know someone asked me for a full flip. There's been a lot of, this is, would be really cute for Christmas time. The Little Match Girl. Um, I know there's a lot out there that have done full flips of this book. So, here we have the 12 Dancing Princesses. It is a very chibi style. Something about it kind of uh, is like reminds me of the cute style of uh, is it Christine Karen I think and the chibi style like together. That's definitely Rapunzel. I love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Now, it's not extremely busy because there's no, like, backgrounds. It's just very simple with the one thing on the page. I mean, this has more of a background, but it's not, like, anchored in, like, with a frame or anything. But I'm okay with that. I, I think I'm okay with just coloring the item on the page. I don't think I need all that, everything. I don't need a color-to-color -color, or corner-to-corner -corner coloring page. To be happy um look at that one that one's really cute yeah i am so happy that i got this book i just love it little red riding hood anyway that is cute fairy tales princesses and fables coloring book and then the very last book I have to show you is the 50 Festive Theme Miniatures Color Book by Camellia Angel Kova. Another adorable book from Camellia, perfect for the winter and Christmas season, which is my favorite season. And yeah, I also love springtime, but I really love Christmas. I've always loved Christmas, my Whole life. It just brings family together. Just great. Merry Christmas. There are lots of New Year's ones in here too. Let me like January first. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So there's more than just Christmas stuff. There's New Year's stuff in here too. Oh, cuties right there. She's got an angel, which is fun. The little mouse, so adorable. And I think this makes it, what, the third Christmas book she's done, which is awesome because you can't get enough Christmas. So that is my haul for you guys, haul product review type video. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, I will leave links down below if you are interested in anything that I featured here. Um, like I said, I have some other books that are coming on Friday. Uh, I may not get a chance to film them right away because um, I have plans for the weekend and we will be busy doing all those things and 
being a mom and running around and, you know, all good things. Uh, my coloring, <laughs> my coloring months have not been super successful, I'll be honest. I have been busy doing a million and one things and recently I, um, her, well, my back has been causing me a lot of problems and I've been going to physical therapy and so I can't stay in a chair for very long, like stay sitting in a chair for very long because it increases my back pain trifold, like 10 times. And so I'm trying to still enjoy the coloring hobby, but at the same time, I need to be kind to myself and my back. <laughs> uh, yeah, those of you that have back pain can totally sympathize, sympathize with me there. Um, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting me in my coloring journey. And if you are new to this channel, I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to like and subscribe. If you hit the notification bell, it will let you know when I post videos, which lately hasn't been too often. But I do what I can when I can and I hope you guys enjoy them. Have a fabulous day and evening, night, whatever. And I will see you guys next time. Bye friends.